A while back I uh, scrapped an old vintage electric hacksaw that was just uh, beyond repair. And one of the things I saved is this uh, hacksaw blade. And at the time I thought I could make a nice knife out of it. But uh, I changed my mind and now I'm going to make a uh, parting tool for the wood lathe. As you can see I've already made a handle so I won't bore you with that. Alright let's uh, make a basic layout. So first I'm gonna cut this part off. Then I need to make a tang and I'm thinking something like this. And it should be about Let's see. I think this is long enough. So that has to go. That has to go. Maybe I'll make this at an angle. Uh, I will leave the teeth on here because I'm uh, curious to find out if they are any good when it comes to cutting wood. So I'm thinking about 10 centimeters should be enough. Uh, it's around here. If I make it any longer, the uh, forces might be getting too big on the tang here where it joins the handle. And I will be cutting a point on here. Um, Damn marker. Something like this. I've seen a few other um, parting tools and they always have a long and a short edge. This will be the underside of the tool because you don't want the uh, metal cutting uh, teeth resting on your tool rest. I changed my mind. I'll make it a bit longer. Otherwise the uh, saw will be very short. Alright, it's ankle grinding time. Perfect. Well, good enough. Now, I am a bit worried that this small hacksaw blade will uh, put too much uh, pressure on the wood here in the handle. Um, I am going to use some epoxy but before I'll uh, insert this into the handle I will grind some grooves in here so that the epoxy will have more uh, grip on the uh, blade here and uh, won't break free. Did I did it die? Or did I put it too tight? Ah oh, come on, don't crap out of me. That's not a plug. No. Really? That's funny. Posh. Piece of shit. Ooh. I hit it back to life. It does sound a bit different. Hm. Might be a lucky day. That's nice enough. Just notice that there is a teeth missing. I guess I should have used the other end of the uh, blade. Well, 
no turning back now. I'm going to use the old lathe to uh, drill out the handle because uh, it has a chuck and the wood lathe doesn't. I got some electrical tape on here to uh, hopefully protect the handle. Um, I've just reassembled the old lathe's uh, spindle and uh, I found a uh, very curious problem that might be the uh, source of my uh, oil uh, issues but uh, more about that later I'll start small but um, the tang is about almost 40 mil so I will be going up to maybe 12, 12 and a half mil looks like I uh, forgot I uh, already drilled the pilot hole this is a 9 millimeter hopefully I can uh, keep this uh, steady I wish I had a steady rest yeah. I really should tighten up the uh, tail start it's not uh, running 100% through. There's a bit of a wobble. Hmm. Too big. Let's uh, gamble a little and try out this really old. I don't know. Is it a drill chuck or a two jaw chuck? You tell me. It seems to fit, so. I'm willing to try it out. It needs a square key, but a big screwdriver will do. No turning back. Here we go. Whoa! And again, I forget to tighten down the tester. I've uh, changed my mind. I am not going to use this drill bit. Um, this chuck might have a bit of run out. So the hole might get too big. And that's why I'm switching to uh, an uh, 11 millimeter drill. And this time I will tighten down the tool stuff. That should be enough. Why do I always have these uh, dirty hands? Oh. It almost looks like the hole is too small. Smaller than the drill. So I guess I will use that 12 millimeter drill. I didn't get the hole straight in the middle. Yeah. Now we get to find out if this uh, three-year-old epoxy and hardener is still okay. Well, it is still liquid. That's probably too much. My spatula is a wall, so a bicycle spoke has to do. That actually works better than my spatula. And for the people trying to read the print on the other side, that's a uh, test print out of a HP yet direct uh, I think 300x 
Now hopefully this paper won't break up on me. Oh shite! Oh man! The last time I did this, I had some newspapers around the handle. Stupid, 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 stupid. I'm not going to use paper. It will probably glue to the handle. I'm probably better off sanding it down. If you want to copy this idea, don't grind the pointy bit before you insert the tool. Now we leave it to dry. I'm trying to clean this up with some turpentine, not knowing if turpentine is any good when it comes to cleaning up polyester epoxy. So here's the uh, end result. It cleaned up uh, fine. Still a bit sticky, but uh, it will be okay. It does need a new layer of uh, linseed oil because I used some thinner to remove the uh, epoxy. Um, tomorrow, when it's uh, hopefully dry. I will do some testing because uh, my only uh, uh, working wood life is uh, outside in the rain under a tarp. So you will have to wait uh, till tomorrow to uh, see if this thing works. I've already spotted a, a potential problem. Um, does anybody else uh, see it? Well that's it for me. I'm getting out of here because uh, the smell of uh, polyester epoxy is uh, pretty strong here. <laughs>